Let's show you how to load this loom. So when you rotate it, make sure all of the latches are in the down position so that the hooks are all available to go. You want to use a lightweight yarn, not a medium worsted yarn like Red Heart Super Saver. I'm using Croy sock yarn today. Come up through the feeder and then up over top of the loom and push this down the very center hole going to the bottom of the loom on the other side. When you're pushing down and if it's not wanting to go, just puff a few breaths of air in there and that also helps it push down as well. So go and do it until it's popping out the bottom of the machine right here. Once it's popping out of the bottom of the machine, just attach the weight and just clamp it around the yarn. This thing will not work without the weight, so make sure you never lose it. Now that I'm ready to go, I just provide a little bit of tension. So just pull down on this. The weight is pulling the yarn on the other side and I wanna capture it with the first one. So just rotate and it will go down. And when you rotate it, you want it to skip the next one because we're still loading. So just reach in, push the yarn behind the latch and just keep rotating it. It's a bit finicky to get this thing started, but once you get it started, it's great. So provide a little bit of tension and allow the next one to grab onto it. And because we're still loading, I wanna skip the next one that's coming. So just push that in behind. And now we're ready to go. So just provide a little bit of tension to it and make sure that this is just pulling back on the other side so it wants to pull down. And as you go up, you have to make sure that it picks up and it falls below where the latch is going to close onto itself. And now you're just gonna rotate and just start going around. Okay, if it's not going down below the latch, it means that this is not tight enough behind. So just pull on it and this should be in free fall. So just put it over top of your lap Make sure that the weight has all of it going down and so you'll be able to rotate at a good speed once you get moving on this thing. So now I want the weight just to free dangle and it's going to pull the center down and therefore those strands should automatically fall below the latching point and continue around. You hear a little bit of a clicking when you go around as well. So it's just going to automatically knit. You can go at any speed that you would like to go that you feel comfortable with. If you're too quick, then it may be a little bit of a problem. So make sure that you get used to it and you understand how it's working as you go. So from the side angle, it looks like this. So a tip for you is to make sure that the yarn leading to this machine is free flowing so it doesn't wanna to be too tight to provide too much friction and the project is knitting and it's gonna come out the center of the hole eventually on the underneath. If so you can get a good speed on this thing once you get used to it. So I have my hand resting on the edge of the table just for stability, but you don't necessarily need that, but I'm overweight and my arm's heavy. <laughs> so eventually you're going to see this pop out through the very bottom which is already starting to happen on this side. So if you're targeting a certain measurement, just take the weight off and it will relax. And then you can measure from here to the top of this piece here. And so you want to keep the weight on when you go to finish. So let's just say I want to finish now. I'm going to just cut my yarn and then I'm just going to knit it out, noticing that I'm just expanding my legs so that the weight falls onto my legs instead of the floor. And this will completely knit itself right to the end. There you go. So now we have this and let's see how to finish it off. This will completely unravel itself if you don't take care of it. So you have three exposed loops. So you're just going to go up and you're taking the strand that was left over, put them through the loops and capture the all. If you don't, it'll untangle itself or it'll unwrap, pull it tight. And now you want to just insert inside of the tube shape that you created and pop it out the other the side, and then you can just safely cut it right there. So if you want to take the first strand as well, you can do the same thing. Just put it onto a needle. Same thing. Just drag the starting strand through. Just 
pull on it a little bit and then you can just safely cut it and that's gone too. So you can use this for anything that you would like to, maybe draw or do embellishments and great things with this little machine.